Ciao. What's up? So we're gonna shoot a tips and tricks video for when you first get here, if you're moving here. I've shot a video like this before, but it's way long ago, so a lot of you newcomers don't go back. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I'll kind of show you everything. I'll explain to you everything. The first thing is like, so let's see. What's the first thing? Your phone. Your phone and walking around late at night in District 1 or any district is going to get you in trouble. Um, it's very susceptible to like maybe where someone could like snatch the phone or take the phone or anything like that. So like you've got to not be crossing a crosswalk or on a sidewalk by cars and motorbikes at night with a phone. I know so many, it's not a targeted crime either. They steal the phones from Vietnamese just as well as uh, Westerners. So you've got to understand that <laughs> you've got to just be careful with your phone, especially if you have a nice phone. It's going to suck to have your phone taken and then not be able to re-get. You'll be able to get your phone back, like buy a new one, but it's going to cost you, you know? Phones aren't cheaper here. Only a few phones are cheaper than like American counterparts. Like for on general, OnePlus is $50 cheaper usually for whatever model is out. Boy, that Cyberpunk. That Cyberpunk OnePlus T looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> We're gonna walk over here by the, uh, the Opera House and take a look at the Opera House today instead of just uh, the new and hue as we always do. Uh, the other big thing is you're gonna to wanna to get like, if you're a guy, get a man purse. One that goes in front of you, right in the middle and put your shit in there. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do pockets and if you really insist on putting shit in your pockets, Go on Amazon and buy a bunch of zipper shorts. They got them on there. They got some nice ones. And make sure that the shorts have zippers on them so you can zip that shit up so you don't get pocketed or something falls out. A lot of times what happens is shit falls out, falls out of your pocket. So zipper pockets are a must. I more so recommend a man purse uh, or a backpack pretty much at all times. Don't go carrying around your passport. People do that which is cray cray to me. Losing your passport is a freaking nightmare here. So <laughs> yeah, don't recommend in any kind of way to, uh, to uh, carry your passport on you. Sometimes the hotel will ask you to hold on to the passport, which is okay. I've never had problems with that here in Vietnam. Other places I've had issues. But here in Vietnam, I've never had a problem reclaiming a passport if they take it. If you don't want to leave the passport with them, have some photocopies of it and be willing to pay for the hotel up front because that's usually what they're going to ask for, which is okay. That's not big, too big of a deal, but you really want to hold on to your passport. The other things is, uh, let me flip the camera around here. Try and do 50-50 of my face and, and what we're looking at. Charlie? Oh. Nice. <laughs> Second time I can't get the swing background. It's funny. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So, this sidewalk when it rains, sometimes it has big, you don't think to think of this, but sometimes it has big downfall on it, like the sidewalk right here. When it rains, you gotta be conscious, conscious of that and know not to fall. I've seen many a Westerner fall on this sidewalk when it's raining really hard. Next one, this is for the guys, and this is for the guys that like the ladies, wanna go out to some lady bars. I, I don't recommend it, maybe once or twice. You can't fall in love with going to a lady bar. You're gonna drain your, your funds really quick. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say lady bar once or twice a year, tops. And this goes right into the next thing. How about moving to an area where there are lady bars? Like, I'll give you an example. Japantown's littered with them. I wouldn't recommend probably living in Japantown unless you wanna lose some money. I mean, if you're into losing money, it's no big deal. 
go for it. But you can go through some sharp stacks of money staying in these danger zone areas. This goes to the next point. Don't stay on Bowie Vane. Stay by Bowie Vane, like a 15 minute walk, and don't get addicted to Bowie Vane. Don't think that you need to be going there all the time or like every day. You know, I'm not gonna lie. My first month here, I was in Bowie Vane every day. I controlled my money though. I mean, I didn't go crazy. And I was a lighter fella then. I weighed, you know, 10 kg less than what I weigh now. So, and yeah, drinks went, drinks went a lot further then because I was lighter and wasn't drinking as much. So yeah, it's not a good idea to actually have a hotel on Boy Vane. Next thing, don't get addicted to balloons. Don't be doing balloons 24 seven. So this is the first subway, not the first, this is just the Opera House subway exit entrance right here. Kind of weird if they don't have another one across the street. I guess this could work. I mean, if it's really used though, uh, as I know from major subway metros of other countries, I hope there's a companion one across the street there. So yeah, we covered Boy Van, we covered Lady Bars. Um, yeah, you don't want to blow your money too fast. You don't want to go through everything you have. You don't want to spend $5,000 in a month. And the quickest way to do that is go to Lady Bars all the time or stay in Boy Vane and just like party in Boy Vane and buy balloons all day. You don't know how many foreigners I've seen do that. So I've never been uh, caveat to, to ballooning all day. Sure, I enjoy one every once in a while, but never an all day affair, which I've seen Americans do so many times. I do believe this is the Opera House. I want to say this is the Opera House. I'm pretty sure. I'm not into landmarks like this, but let's see. Let's scroll up. And these are five star hotels. They probably have quarantine going on in most of these. They're overflowed with quarantine right now at these places. Because a lot of expert visas are getting in. This park is really nice. So money talk about carrying money if you got money so say you got one of those man bags right you got your wallet just load that up with like a million tops and then hide the rest of your money inside of that bag somewhere you know you don't want to you don't want to have all that money in one area in case you might get mugged or something this one's for the women the next one don't be walking around drunk past 2 or 3 a.m. it's just not a smart thing to do uh, there was just a girl that got uh, attacked by a grab driver, a fake grab driver, just a few weeks ago because she was going home drunk at like 3 a.m. If you are going to be out that late, I would recommend taking an actual taxi and forgoing the five dollar, four or five dollar trip home. It's going to be safer. Yeah. Um, I mean, this goes for guys too. This is how I got my cell phone stolen. Was walking drunkenly home at like 3 a.m. from Boy Fang, crossing the street, checking Google Maps, because I still didn't have my bearings yet. We're talking like two or three weeks into uh, being here. Next thing is, uh, if you're, if you're gonna be here long-term, date and date, date, date. Go on many dates. Unless you meet one, like I met Wynn pretty early on, but believe me, I dated before Wynn. But I, I met Wynn and we had an instant connection and it was good and legit. If you don't have that like where it's like, oh, this is a must, I must go with this. Continue to keep dating, you know? Why not? It's, it's explore your options. Don't rush to, uh, you know, get married and settle down right away. There's, it's easy to date here if you're a decent looking guy and you've got any kind of game. So try to make that happen by, you know, expanding your horizons and getting out there and, and dating a lot. Um, the other thing is don't be quick to buy a motorbike and go drive around the traffic until you acclimated a little bit here and like drove around drove around with the grab driver I recommend driving around with the grab drivers like doing grab for your first month to like get a handle on how man the sun is kicking today drive around for like a month or two with a grab driver, and then get yourself a bike once you kind of learn the flow of how traffic works. Um, 
there's no hurry to do that. Don't be in a hurry to buy a really nice bike either. Like I've, I've talked about, scooter or motorcycle video. I think for the most part, it's better to get a scooter, an automatic gas brake scooter. It's going to be easier for you. Um, next thing, don't become an alcoholic because it's super easy to do here. Yeah, I have a bit of a drinking problem. I've, I've admitted that before. I've been super relaxed on the drinking. I've co pretty much completely cut beer out, maybe one or two a week, and my drinking's very down. Um, yeah, it's very easy to become a really heavy drinker on a daily basis here because it's one, society accepted, and two, it's just easy to do. Like, it's, there's no problem with it here. Like, yeah, so, so don't fall into that trap either. What else can I think of? Talk about money. Yeah, never leave your bag anywhere. You can't go take a piss and leave your bag. That's just not a good idea. Sure, if you got a friend with you to watch the bag, still not a good idea. If you're out on Bowie Vane, <clears throat> don't leave your phone on the table. Even if you're right in front of it, always put it back in your pocket. Alibaba can take that phone when you're not looking. Maybe two of them will come up to you, two of those girls will distract you, and then one of them will just grab it, and then before you know it, it's too late, and they're not gonna tell you they, that they took their phone, and the police are not gonna check CCTV unless there's something in it for them. So yeah, you've gotta be really mindful of your belongings, and just be aware at all times. If you do have a nice motorbike, don't go driving around at 2 a.m. You're susceptible to getting mugged and your motorbike taken then. Even on a regular motorbike, driving around 2 or 3 a.m., especially if you're in a Viet district, you're running a risk of getting your bike taken and shit taken, so. For now, really, this is all I can think of. Like, I'm trying to, to come up with more shit, but again, like I've said in other videos, I don't want to come up with shit just to say shit. I want to actually have good points to make, so these videos are very informative for someone that's contemplating moving here or that is coming here and wants to know good boots on the ground stuff. Um, one last topic we can cover, try to do a six month lease on your apartment and only one month down. I highly try to recommend to do that. Fight like hell for that. You'll eventually find an apartment that will do that. Some of them are gonna try to be like, one year lease, two months down. Nah, you ain't gotta do all that. They're gonna try for you to do all that, but you don't have to do all that, so. Finding an apartment, don't do it in a hurry. Look at a bunch of apartments, Get a, find an area you really like, research it really hard. Make sure you're in a district you wanna be in. For any single guy, you're gonna probably wanna be in District 1 your first six months to a year. So realistically, probably look for a place in D1. You can get cheaper apartments in D1. You know, my first apartment was 600 bucks. It's now down to like 450. So if you wanna rent that apartment, you can go rent that apartment. Let me know if you wanna rent the first apartment and I'll put you in the contact with the, the guy that owns it. He's a very nice guy, great landlord. So yeah, that's all I think I have for you guys today. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Leave a comment. <clears throat> if I missed anything, leave it in the comments. I'm sure I did. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace out.